It has been brought to my attention that Mice Chat has re recently reported a rumor uh, that, that Disneyland is thinking about or looking into possibly getting rid of the monthly payment option for annual passes. So far, it's just a rumor. It was only stated kind of in an offhand way, actually, in their most recent, I think it's the Dateline Disneyland article, uh, the photo journal thing. The obvious inference from this decision or this thought process is that uh, they're looking to reduce the number of people who are purchasing an annual pass. Uh, if you get rid of the monthly payment option, as many of us have uh, signed up for, then they, they feel like fewer people will actually buy the annual pass. Uh, and the first question we have to ask is, is that true? Are you, as an annual pass holder, beholden to the monthly payment option? Can you fork out the four, five, eight hundred dollars or whatever you know it costs for your pass up front? I think it's obvious that many, many pass holders would choose to opt out of the annual pass uh, if, they can't, if they can't do monthly payments. So in that sense, yes, they would sell fewer annual passes. Now, having said all that, one of the caveats to this rumor was that they were thinking about doing it only for new purchases, only for, for uh, you know, the first-time buyers, the people who are already on the monthly payment option would be grandfathered in. I don't know if that's indefinite, but at least for the next year or whatever, you know, the first year of the program. So those people who are already making monthly payments would get to renew at the monthly payment. But don't forget, you've got to renew on time. If you don't renew on time, like I often do, I often forget and then <laughs> you show up at the park and like, hey, your park, your pass is expired and I have to buy a new one. That's not technically a renewal. That is buying a new pass. So anyway, I digress. Uh, so that's, that, if, that's the, if that's the way they go, that's, that's barely a Band-Aid. Uh, but if they do go the route of eliminating the monthly payment entirely, uh, I personally would still buy one. Uh, cause you know, I mean, th that's just what I would do. I have that much demand for it. I really want one that badly that I would find a way to make that, that payment. But the real question is, does that impact crowding? And I, it, it seems like Disneyland doesn't know. They don't know the answer to this. And, uh, and that's why they're just thinking about it because they don't know how this is going to impact their bottom line or impact crowds because it's, who knows what, you know, how, how desperate people want or how desperately uh, a guest wants an annual pass. And I think I've got the answer, actually. I think I've got the answer to this question. Uh, will this, uh, is this a good idea or will this impact uh, crowding? And, and that answer is, is no. It's not going to have any effect whatsoever on crowds, in my opinion. Um, <clears throat> I've long maintained that uh, this is a, a supply and demand issue and there is no, the demand is so high for an annual pass that the only way to uh, improve the crowding issue is to create more supply. Uh, now, by supply, I don't mean tickets. By supply, I mean entertainment. I mean Disneyland. We need more Disneyland for people to attend. And then that will reduce the crowds. The bigger the property, the more things to do, the less crowded it will become. I don't believe that you can solve this issue by either uh, raising ticket prices or by reducing the number of annual pass holders. Uh, history has proven, at least recent history has proven, that, that they have not reached whatever that limit is, whatever that limit is that, that, that people say, you know what, I've had enough, I'm not getting a ticket, I'm not getting an annual pass, it's just two, two $300, who knows what that number is. Disneyland has not approached that, and I don't think they will in the near future. Uh, all this will do, if it does reduce the number of annual pass holders, which it very well could, all it's going to do is create more opportunity for daily ticket holders to, or to just show up at the park and buy a ticket. You're going to create more demand from that side because they'll know, they'll know that there are fewer annual passes available and they're more likely to go to the park and buy a ticket. All it's going to do is it's... It's just going to create a different flow of people. There's an analogy that would explain this. The, the, I can't think of one off the top of my head. The, my mind is thinking like, you know, you know, river or water flowing down a hill towards a river. You can block it from many different ways, but the water's still going to find a way to get to the bottom of that river uh, or the bottom of that hill. Uh, you, you can't stop. You can't stop the demand. You can't. There's, it, the demand is too high. But I'm curious about you guys. What do you guys think? Do you think, A, that this is a, a solution to the crowding problem? Uh, and two, if you were an annual pass holder, 
Will you renew at the full price or are you among those that are going to drop out? Does this affect you? Uh, let me know your thoughts below uh, and until next time, fresh bacon stuff. Bye guys.